Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Sweet Indian child of mine. Right, so cool. Okay, so there's a lot of information about this video. Well, a lot. The movie is it's about a little baby. No, it's the cover. Uh, it is a cover of Gun Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. What? Yes, but apparently the vocals here are incredible because they have fusioned the original with uh classical indian music oh nice so but i don't know whether they're gonna like integrate rag into the singing or if the singing's gonna maintain its core of rock oh. and the instruments are things that are gonna change so it's the like a band it's a band kind of like sanam yes they make like covers that's right that's right so i'm really interested uh, this is perhaps one of the most iconic rock songs from the late 80s oh you know what i mean I love that song. Sweet Indian child of mine. Oh, or an acoustic guitar too, cool. Baiju Dharma Jam. You can make that with a guitar? Oh my god! That is so cool! That's a very straightforward approach to the vocals. What a voice! Wow, dude, that's gorgeous! Because it hits the nostalgia feels, but at the same time, you're in a completely new land. I thought like I went from a portal or something. Yeah, it's like, whoa! <laughs> it is! It's what, a, what a cool... Uh, it's interesting that the remark of the actual song... I didn't know you could make that on a guitar like that. Me neither. You could make a guitar sound like that. Me neither. I mean, you all saw... Did, did that go? No. Oh, it, it wasn't go. posted. No. I was, but, well, yesterday... Uh, well, yesterday, you would have seen me play the guitar a bit. Obviously, I don't play the guitar. But we're just trying to look for that chord progression that you guys said. It's that is the most a common. It's A minor, G, G F. F into an E major. Yeah, it's like, it's a progression that is the most, well, one of the most popular progressions in the in the Indian music industry. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see what that sounded like, because in my head, it didn't make much sense. So we grabbed the guitar. But, um, and I've seen other, you know, very gifted musicians play the guitar and... I've never seen anyone make an acoustic guitar sound like that. But the funny thing, what makes the remark of the song somewhat, you know, Indian classically or Indian entwined in the music industry, it's the percussion. That's right. It's the, it's the, the that kind of a, that, what's it tambourine? Tambourine type what do you call it? sounding thing. What do you tambourine. Use tambourine. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to you, I thought you were speaking in Spanish. <laughs> I see your mouth, lip, I thought your lips move and I just thought you were speaking in Spanish. But yeah, the tambourine and... The kind of those splashes and the guitar, obviously. But that's really weird. That, that is so... I thought it was going to be more vocally towards. So did I, which is so unexpected. Because obviously you get... what What's really interesting is that the vocals are pretty far forward in, in, like in the mix, in the final mix of the song. So you get them first. The first thing you hear is the vocals. Yeah. And then you kind of like pay attention to everything else surrounding the vocals. And you're like, this is a completely different cool. realm of music. How fun. What a gifted vocalist, though. He's awesome. He's fantastic! Also, how big, actual... how big is that tree? Because they are standing on the roots of that tree. How big is that tree? No. That's huge. Okay. How, what's the actual name of the song? Sweet, sweet Child, Child of, of Mine. Mine. But they changed the Sweet Indian Child of Mine. Ah, okay. I thought the actual name was the Sweet Indian Child of Mine. No, no, no. It's sweet Child of Mine. Oh. When did this come out? 90s? I actually think this is late, late 80s, dude. Really? This is pretty late on the 80s. Switch out. Switch out. He's got unbelievable vocals for this type of music. Yeah, yeah. I love his his take on this. This is really, really accurate to the original. So, came out. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Came out. Release date. Release date. Release date. 
Okay, late eighties. Yeah, on. so just just be, before then the nineties hit of rock alternative. <laughs> Listen to that riff on the guitar though. Minor percussion, is it like a cajon? Bro, Isn't that wild, Papa? Isn't that wild? Blink, blink. Right? What the? live version of this. Oh, that would be so fun to, to watch. I love the manner of percussion, it's so fun. I don't know what it is though. That's someone's foot. <laughs> yeah, it is. It was a fish. Vocal layers are heavenly. Nice. I I have no fucking clue you can make a guitar sound like that, especially Honestly. at the beginning. I, I I had no idea. I especially like in the start. Maybe we'll play at the beginning. It's like uh, later, later. It's like um, I don't know because it, it consistently with that same. Because you can obviously when you hear guitar solos and riffs, you hear that that kind of glissando. Uh, uh, not glissando. <laughs> that kind of me. suspended. Uh, you know how they they that 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 you can create that quite frequently, mm -hmm. but never consistently on every fucking. Eh, 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 eh. What do you call it? Eh. Ever so often in the arpeggio. Because it's an arpeggio, it's, it's picked though, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know enough about But they, they, they do a lot of like sliding, so they... And hammering. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the, at the guy, he is so relaxed. Like his fingers must be like made out of steel, dude. Again, this is probably not as impressive to someone that may know really a, a lot about guitar stuff. Yeah. But to me, that's why I'd never heard guitars be that like that consistently with those amounts of suspended. Yeah. In the every. Guitar is, is a, a nylon string. I was gonna nylon. say. I was gonna point that out. That yeah. is obviously nylon strings because it hurts less. less. <laughs> I know it does. <laughs> it, it does. By that point, it doesn't hurt him. No, I don't just, think it hurts him anymore. Maybe if he plays for nine hours, it might hurt him. Exactly. But at that level that he's at, it doesn't hurt him anything. Those this fingers are made great. like rocks now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can... You can, you can touch the calloused yeah, fingers. Yeah, yeah. Calluses, yeah. But you know what's really cool, though? The, the vocalist, he has a range that is wild, Mental. though. His vocal range is insane. Covering Axl Rose has never been an easy task for anybody. Not, not female singers, neither... Nevertheless, the, you know... The male singers and this guy is just he was born for that style got the <laughs> that's nuts dude I think he's a conga yeah that's <laughs> so charming <laughs> I'm totally mind blown by the guitarist
what music is about, you know? What an interpretation. Gosh! Oh, and she vanished. As Thanos well. snapped. Oh, she was the music. She was the muse. Yeah, it's like a tambourine. But oh my God, what's what's in the book of his names? Giri. Um, Girish Pradham. Ah, Pradhan. Pradhan. It's at the top, mate. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that type of writing is quite hard to read. But his name is Girish Pradhan. This is And the awesome. guitarist That's... is Baiju or Baiju Darmajan. That is so freaking cool, dude. And the the whole collaboration. And the dancer? Yeah, and the, the girl. dancer. Oh, yeah, where's the dancer? Wow, she probably disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but she's not in the credits here. Maybe it's in the description of the video. Um, Dude, this Sweet is so Indian cool. Shot of Mine by featuring Girish and the Chronicles. Yeah, no, there's no... What? Go down maybe in the comments. Ah, uh, special appearance. By Nidhin. Nidhi Jose. Jose. Yeah. Cool, dude. You know what? He, it's cool. He's something as well that's super cool. It's like... I, I, it took me such a long time throughout, throughout the listening experience to try and figure out what the hell the minor percussion was. Yes. I still don't know if it, it, it could have been. I've seen it in like the Coke studio kind of environment. They have this tambourine that also has... A skin. Skin. Yeah. And you can... That's what I thought. You can create that type of sound. But it they they also flatten the sound, which you really hear that in congas. That's true. So when you cap, and then here is open, and then here you cap it. Um... So I I don't know. Could you do that with a tambourine? Yeah, you maybe you, you you hold it with here. You could do that. So Can't I'm really confused in that sense. But it really took me quite a while to try and figure out to get a grasp it's on all the little details that are going on. I imagine if you were if I was some sort of guitar expert, <laughs> all the little intricacies that that guitar is playing along, I'll have a fucking orgasm. Yeah, it's crazy. But if you pay attention to right to the end of it, you hear the tambourine really clearly. It's a tambourine. Yeah, but that's not the only instrument that was playing. Of course not, of course not. But I'm saying that I think it, there's obviously a skinned tambourine playing in the background. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. There's definitely a tambourine. Yes. Yeah. My question is, what else is there? Yes, yes, of that's course. That's what I'm trying to say. And I think the other thing that's there is a conga. Right. Because I've seen it in a lot of, it, even in classical Indian uh, performances, mm -hmm. they, the minor percussionists, not the tabla players, Oh, yeah, not the tabla players, but the minor percussionists, they, they have a set of congas. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they even have a set of timbales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's, uh, it's the industry that I feel as a minor percussionist, everyone should... If you're a minor percussionist, you don't only have to listen to it and study it, but you have to support it. Because yeah. it's the only industry in the world that has as a rule of thumb, if you perform live, you must bring a minor percussionist. It's actually, when minor percussionists are dying. When it's actually the, is, is the core essence of percussion for Indian music... Uh, overall you make you could make uh, that argument right given yeah. the tabla and the and the and the history of the tabla in their in their music i've read uh online that actually the inclusions of drums is a very modernistic take to, yeah, to, yeah. to to <laughs> to, to uh, music itself so the the core of their music is laid the foundation is laid on minor percussion well the drums always makes it a bit more alternative that's right you know? yes so yes. uh but yeah this was awesome let us know more about them and uh, most importantly great collaboration uh, what else you like us to check out next oh and don't forget to check our uh brand new phone cases in different colors like this for the uh, love edition of the merchandise that is only available till the end of feb okay goodbye <laughs>